Which is why that guy was like, yo, she shouldn't have gone in there. Hello? Yes? Sister? Maybe? Oh, more chains fell off the door, I guess. Oh. Our father made us move out to the country. This home was owned by our, his parents, so our grandparents, our character's grandparents. Ugh, but there was a tenant prior on? to us. Why am I still so tired then? And we're starting to learn that witchcraft did happen here. There were witch trials and that someone was using uh, spells in excuse me, in order to connect to their long dead son, they were a widow and they wanted to try to bring back or reconnect with their son who had passed away. And she got connected to his spirit and was told certain things to do. I'm assuming that that isn't really her son, but some sort of evil entity that made her sign her soul away. That's my assumption at least. So she was tricked but it did negatively impact the town people disappeared she kind of created her own cult there are certain elements i feel like of silent hill My that are in this game too i should check emma's room she better not have been in here again yeah emma siblings you know god damn emma's room emma yep that's emma Police! Whoa. Oh, that's creepy as shit. Strange drawing. No sign of my hair clip in here, anyways. This is the witch that we keep seeing. I get a sick feeling looking at this. Why would Emma draw it? Because it's in her dreams. She's dreaming too. That's why. Run away. Run away. Dad. Emma's drawing weird shit. Oh, nope. Nope. God. This door's cursed! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Yep, more chains fell off. I'm guessing endgame is the chains finally come off, the door opens, and surprise. Hi, Fasha. How you doing? Rose? Also, this is just, like, weird camera angles. Like, he, he keeps going to the back of our character and then, like, slowly panning to then eventually open it up, but... I mean, I guess it's trying Sorry, to be cinematic, but I it feels just weird. It would feel better, honestly, if if there was no motion, and then you introduced motion, like if it like in the way of like if it was locked into where both characters are seen, even if it's their backs, even though it just feels weird. But I'm assuming it's to to avoid having to do facial animations, which would make sense. It's fine. You girls have been working hard lately. You two could use a day off. Why don't you spend the day with your sister? No. I won't say no to a day off. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Good to hear. I'm not feeling well, so I may rest inside today. Okay. Rest up. And let me know if you need anything. And about that whole doctor thing, is there anything going on with that? Alright, you just keep staring into that fire. That's totally normal. Totally fine. Hey, all right. We're getting a little bit more life here. Some more plant life. Some chickens. So these are the chickens you and Dad got the other day while I was at the parish. Do you like them? Did you name them? Probably not a good idea. <sighs> I guess. 
yes. At least you're interested in something other than drawing. Let's spend the day together. How about we walk by the pond? I saw one on the map east of here. Okay. I also noticed a drawing of a woman in your room today. Stay out of my room, jerk. Sorry, I thought you took my hair clip again. So, who is she? She's just someone I know. Someone that I used to know. You don't know anyone. Where did you meet her? She talks to me sometimes in my dreams. Oh boy. You mean like a nightmare? They're not nightmares. She's nice to me. Her name's Lucilia. Dun dun dun. Lucilia? Where did you hear that name? She told me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Strange. Huh? Nothing. Ah! Don't, don't, stop it. Oh, God, you're creepy. No, stop it. Go away. No, this is a horror game, but my sister following me shouldn't be the scariest damn thing so far. How about these trees, huh? Dun, dun, dun. Why can't we sprint? I just want to sprint. Hmm. It looked more impressive on the map. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's just go to the Eastern Village. Not like there's a church there I've been wanting to check out anyway. Are we allowed to go further? What Dad doesn't know doesn't kill him? What Dad doesn't know won't Dad. hurt him. There we go. <laughs> and you said we never hang out. When was the last time we spent the whole day together? I almost feel like because we're in the Eastern Village and the sister has been having dreams and actually talking with the witch, I feel like something's gonna happen to the sister now. The reason we're doing that is because Dad kicked us out of the house and you were bored. Both things can be true. What is this place anyways? I don't know. It just says Eastern Village on the town map. Looks like it's seen better days. Everything in this town is old. I hate that we live here now. What are we supposed to do if we run out of money? I may have some ideas. Yeah, what are you supposed to sell? There's no one here. Where are you getting power from? What? Sell me to the circus or something? No, we bought you from the circus and they have a strict no return policy. <laughs> ha ha. Can we play hide and seek? Please? We came all this way. No. Okay, but don't go too far. It's already getting late. Hopefully oh, there are some grimoires around. That'd be interesting. Why are we playing hide and seek? And this is how we lose our sister. Ready or not, here I come. We're not gonna find her. And it rains once again. What the hell? Man, our timing though. Hey, we can move faster. Time to start raining. Hey, yep, there we go. It's like the character and I are in sync. Love it. Eastern Village. Random RV, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Now it wants to work. Okay. Can I help you? The shut-in. Oh my god. Uh, sorry. I, I didn't think anyone lived out here. Not many do. It's usually just people passing through. I assume you came with that girl. The one in the leather jacket. Um, yeah, that's my little sister Emma. We were just playing a stupid game. I saw her crawl under the vents of the historical society, the big house northeast of here. She really shouldn't have gone in there. Oh, thanks for telling me. I should be on my way then to go get her. Gate's locked, and you probably won't fit under the fence. But I can help you. 
I just need something first. Uh, I feel dirty now. Uh, sure. What do you need? There's a small house east of here. I'll give you the key for the front door. Something very important to me is in there. Retrieve it, and I'll help you open the historical society's gate. Also, our sister is a Can you dick. Do this for me? If she's gonna climb under a Myself, fence, but I can't. The small house east of here. Okay, what am I looking for exactly? Um, hello. You'll know when you see it. How do we even get that? Historical society buildings. I wonder if they have cursed items that are locked up. Well, they used to have witch trials and stuff, so it could very well be, actually. That could be very much a thing. Hey! Hello! Housekeeping! Someone gave me the key to your house, by the way. There's something in here that guy wants. Shouldn't be too complicated. Ow! Concussion. Uh, what the hell? Examine. Lately, I've been seeing people enter the Historical Society at night, one at a time over the course of an hour or so. Once I... One, one I recognized from... Oh, okay, there we go. Never mind. So lately, I've been seeing people enter the Historical Society at night, one at a time over the course of an hour or so. One I recognized from their small stature, my neighbor, a quiet man whose face was recently wounded. He said he had been attacked by a feral dog, but something doesn't feel right about that either. I don't trust him or the people going into that house. What are they doing there so late at night? I'm guessing they mean the one that's gated off, maybe? Or is that the historical society? Maybe that's the historical society, actually. Okay, so if that's the historical society, so then unless they're meaning the shut-in, that person's house, which that would be their their neighbor, so. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. Intriguing. If I do say so myself. Oh, wow. That is one hell of a fancy damn safe. Okay. That I was not expecting. What year are we in? Like, seriously. Ask the dolls. Oh, okay. So we're looking at the portraits here with the dolls. The, like, little drawing figures. So far, we've found two images. I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Ah, all right. I'm going to... Okay, so the mannequins are... Or the dolls or whatever are connected to an image or to a symbol. And that symbol is connected to an image of a mannequin doing a very specific pose. So we're going to have to move the mannequins into those specific poses. So we have a cross with a circle, and then it's waving with its, I don't know, its right arm. I mean, again, depending on how it's facing. Let's say it's facing us. It's got its right arm up. If it's facing away, then it's its left arm. Let's look at the other one here that we found. Other one here is the circle with the cross below and the horns on top. And that is the opposite of the one we just did. Okay. Mars, Saturn, and the Sun, they're alchemy symbols. Oh, okay. I know I've seen them before, but I had no idea what their context was. They're alchemy symbols. Okay, Mars, Saturn, and the Sun. Oh, very cool. Thank you for that. Okay, so we're missing one more image. Oh, here. Here we go. And that's just left arm straight to the side. No. Oh, that was down. Okay, there we go. Bathroom key. Ooh, 
why? Why, why, why is there someone walking around with another hacksaw and a mask on? I hate it. Hate it. Wait, do we have to like legit worry about this person? Are we, are we just seeing things or is this like ghost stealth? Also, we might need that bathroom now. More than ever. I don't want to move this. Oh, that face again. Don't like it. Don't like it. Gnosis. Fantastic. All right, so... There we go. That symbol again. All right, let's deliver this photograph and get that gate key for the Historical Society. At this point, Emma had better hope I don't find her. Fair, because we're going to kill her. Oh, we have to actually go in. Oh, hell no. It's the creepy dude with the mask walking around. Why? Hello? Ah, uh, so maybe what we saw, so maybe this guy's actually dead, and what we saw was the spirit, and the spirit was talking to us. I don't know. I don't like any of it. I don't like any of it. Seems to be jammed. All right. Well, uh, you've got some wine. That's great. Go hug him. I'm good. You know, we all need a little love, but it ain't gonna be from me. I say no. Oh, hell no. I hate that. No, really hate that. And you brought your saw with you. Can you not? Can you? I brought you the picture, man. I guess you're cursed and you have to stay in the house. So you need me to bring you the photo and then you want to kill me? I don't know. I'm closing the door. Freaking creep. What? That's a weird place for that. Okay. I'm guessing that was the person with the mask? That's just weird. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Don't mind me just judging you. Judging you harshly. I hate you so much. Oh! Dick. Oh, I hate it. So stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, I hate it so much. I don't know. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't. Can I? The, I mm -mm. Can't even close the door. This seems locked. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Oh, good. Another puzzle. Fantastic. I hate it. The beast sits in a corner of his long forgotten land. One strolls furthest and above him, fragility in hand. Neither above or below the two, a soul swings back. Bear galloping up high, a dark omen can't help but stare. A soul pained in thought lays furthest from the pale, while two souls between darkness awaits bells and a veil. Okay, so this is the hint to the tarot cards, I'm guessing, that we have to place. I think the mannequins are haunted. You know, what horror game doesn't have haunted mannequins? Let's be real. But I, I, I really hate the fact that that thing is crawling around and we hear it. It's so weird. Like, 
there aren't a lot of things in these horror games per se that like really get me again the the, the occasional jump scare like that was a well-placed jump scare with the mannequin very well placed because you're already put on edge and then that happens <clears throat> and you're not expecting it from that because you know the other thing behind you is moving so that totally makes sense like that was a good jump scare but yeah usually not a lot really gets me super worked up but man you have like crawling noises and breathing noises behind me blah for whatever reason those are the two things that creep me out or things that crawl at me like not even just the sound but you have something crawl at me mm -mm. don't do not like it my brain does not like it So if we're saying furthest and above, then the fool would be furthest in this corner and above. Neither above or below the two, a soul bears a... Oh, okay, yeah. So this would this line would make a lot more sense. Neither above or below the two. So if the fool is the farthest away and up above, it's saying that it's in this corner. The devil's in this corner. And the hanged man mean... And so with the hanged man line of neither above or below the two so that means it can't be here and it can't be here so it's in the center galloping up high a dark omen can't help but stare okay so that's death looking on to the hanged man there we go so the darkness would be the pain thoughts and the devil got it okay so it was the placement of the fool that was throwing me off. So I wasn't 100% sure if it was going to be 100% true to the wording or it, or not. So, all right, cool. So we unlocked something. What did we unlock? You better stay over there. I swear to God. This. There we go. Picked up pliers. That's not quite a key, but okay. Close enough to each their own. Uh oh. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Nope, yep, you're just gonna get up. Okay. Oh my god! Can we close the door? We're gonna die? I guess we were supposed to go in the bathroom? Hi. That photograph you found is very important to me. Uh-huh. You didn't have to help me, but you did anyway. I won't forget this. Uh-huh. You couldn't stand next to the bed? You have to stand on it? Well, I guess you have, like, a height complex, right? Okay. Also, it looks like you're breathing, but I also feel like you're in the body of a doll. And you're wearing the mask that's in the portrait in this bathroom. So, maybe you used to be a person that wore that mask, and then you entered that doll body or something. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to thank us and help us because, cool. I, I'll take it. Was not expecting it. Picked up the gate key. Okay, cool. So, ooh, hi. You doing? How's it? You, you really like to stand on things, huh? Yeah, you really do. Okay. She shouldn't be in that house. Fair enough. So y'all did occult stuff and this is what you get, huh? Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Let's find them and get out of here. Friend plus one, maybe? Yeah, a little, little bit of protection, maybe? Though I don't think they can leave the house. I think that's why they're a shut in. I think they're cursed and maybe their body's in a doll or something. And, and they're not able to leave. I, I wonder if that is the case. Due to the witch. Find Emma. Emma, you dumbass! What are you doing?
Historical Society. Emma, where are you? Hey, girl, hey. I will say in this game, the scares are nice. Like the jump scares are natural. They feel good. There is a good build of tension. The developer, Vincent Lane, definitely understands how to build up that tension over time uh, through visual cues and audio cues and makes a jump scare worth it. He doesn't abuse jump scares, which is so nice. There are too many games that want to be scary and they just fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it to the brim with jump scares for no reason. You know, and there's a creepy factor too to these games, which is really nice. Like we're seeing this, we, we come to the painting, we hear the whispers, we see the witch, and we see who could be potentially our sister. This is creepy, right? You get creepy, you get tension build up, then you get the scare, which is really nice. Won't be able to take these boards off with my bare hands. I mean, you could try. Picked up old lantern. Now everything's fucking dark. How does that work? Oh, now the witch is gone. See, it's stuff like that. Like little attentions to detail that are so nice. Oh, good. Crying. Fantastic. That door's locked. Seems to be jammed. Okay. Hello? The times of their deaths. Oh, fantastic. Was it a guillotine? Okay. Okay. Okay, the planets. Hey, Pluto! Guess who's back? Back again. Pluto's back. Tell a friend. So that we can't open. Hi, we're here. Hello! Okay, so the historical society must be where the witch kind of hangs out. One of her places. Which is why that guy was like, yo, she shouldn't have gone in there. Duh. Hi, so you have my sister. Would like her back. Uh-huh. Yep. Good paintings for this for this story. Why is it always old-timey radios are so damn creepy? Like, they're weirdly nostalgic for me because I used to watch a lot of, like, 1930s and 40s and 50s movies back in the day when I was a kid. But there's something about it that's just also so kind of weirdly creepy about them, too. I know we saw in the... Was it the bathroom? Or not a bathroom, but like, there's like a utility room or, or something, some sort of room where it had the one puzzle in it, and then it also had a poster of the planets. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can click and drag. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so it's really interesting when you play through Vincent Lade's games, because Death Bloom was a first person shooter it was very much like resident evil and then when you play through the swine it's very much like a a short and sweet very cinematic horror walking sim with a really interesting story and it kind of it, it does vibe well with this game too like you can see some elements that connect to the two games again hitting on like cults and witchcraft and stuff like that this is definitely like a walking horror sim, but with puzzles. So it's it's just it's just interesting seeing that sort of 
toying around of different mechanics and, and gameplay styles and stuff. So, let's go back upstairs. A model of the braking wheel. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, the braking wheel and the clock. By the way, the times of their deaths. So we must need to find different clocks, and there are, go there are going to be models of different devices of torture and what have you, and, and, and imprisonment and so forth, um, that they used on the witches. And next to it should be a clock then of some sort that will list the time, and we put those times into here. Yeah, so these are the fixed ones. So we have to drag these to here. Okay. Wait, there we go. Mars, Earth, Venus, Mercury. There we go. Bar. Hey, we can remove some boards now, which is back at the first room with the portrait in it. And then we'll probably have to run back up here. Gotta love it. Go down, go up, go down, go up, go down, go up. Personally, I'm more of a fan of, like, keep the puzzles, like, centralized in a specific room. And then once you finish that room, move on. Have that one that then that that one puzzle item that then takes you, Jesus, to the next room. But I know like horror survival sort of puzzle ass games are just you know teach their own. They're a little different. Some love to take you back and forth, back and forth. Others are more concentrated. It's just kind of preference, really. Get out. Well, you know, I'm I'm working on it. I, I do be working on it, but you need to give me my sister back. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, the obligatory crowbar. We did have the fuse box. We've had the fuse box, crowbar. Um, I guess pliers is close enough to bolt cutters. So there's that. Ah, okay, yeah. Sheet music for the piano. Brittle looks? Is that what it says? It's bloodstained. The song is called Brittle Brittle Locks. My bad. Oh, hi. Okay. Yep, you're a witch. You were hanged. Okay, but you know, you're the one who did a pact with the devil. That that's on you. Just throwing that out there. And somehow we know how to play. Yep, there we go. Oh god, it's so creepy. You you come through the janky ass door and uh we get the other the other time of death, but you hear breathing. Alright, so this time is 515. Ah. 
Hi. Yep, that's a symbol. That's a sigil on my face. And it's dark. Hi. The witch sigiled in your face. And no, she didn't take me to dinner. I know, rude, right? How dare. Rude. Oh, quick maths. Fifty one twenty two one twenty. So this one and this one has to equal one twenty. Wait, plus times plus. Something times something is 120. Wait, though, how do you get 50? I mean, it looks like we're supposed to go left to right here. One number times another number is 120. 120 plus another number here is 122. So 10, 12, 2. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we're not pulling from the answer, so we're pulling from two itself. I see, because of where the placement of the arrow is. Got it, got it. So two times something plus something is 50. Oh, no, that's easy enough. Two times one, 48. I saw that I was like 48. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty damn clear. Yeah, honestly, the puzzles haven't been really too difficult to an extent. I mean, they've been pretty straightforward. I I think also just to help with pacing, which I think is smart. It's it's well done. You want some puzzles, but you don't want them to be taking too long. And I think again, the clock one would have been a lot easier if the image on my end wasn't so blurry. Here. Uh, okay. Ah, interesting. That's what you, you know what you call a, a passageway. What's down here? A note. Oh, eyes. Don't like. There's been too many rumors surrounding the historical society lately. We need to move Lucilia's body in case anyone comes looking around here. The ceremony will be done in her home, but it's too far from, for one trip. The house of that drunk, the one Lucilia told us about, we can move her there. It should still be empty. Oh, so I wonder if the ceremony involved her dying, like sacrificing herself. 
So, like, she would tether her life here and then technically die only to then be tethered still here spiritually. Move the body at night and do it quickly. Disguise the wagon as building supplies for the Pathway West Restoration Project we've been funding. You'll be able to travel out of the village without suspicion. After finishing preparations at Lucilia's house, we'll move her the rest of the way. Oh, fantastic. That looks like how you release a demon into the basement with you. Yes, agreed. Seems jammed. Won't be opening this. Okay, fantastic. What the hell is this place? Is this the other church? Ah, hey, the swine masks. Actually, it's, uh, I think that one specifically is in the swine. That one or that one? So this is her church in the basement of a random historical society building. Okay. Yep. Oh, and those weren't eyes. Those are part of that sigil. Oh, fun. Okay. Boozle. Oh, it's another freaking slide puzzle. Why? <laughs> Why do you hate me? Oh, we're close. There we go. Look, Mom, I did it. What do we do? We we did something. Oh, maybe unlock the door down here. Ching, 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 ching. Oh, kinky. It's a fungin. Volunteering our blood doesn't have the same effects as it did with that man. Start with drifters or anyone not from town first and keep it quiet. So it seemed like she sacrificed herself, but then you have to sacrifice other people to then like bring her back for the ritual, maybe? place is full of these things. I'm not dreaming this time, though. I want a demon to be standing behind that door. Well, it might still happen. I shouldn't be happen. in this place. I should get out of here. Yep, working on it. Let me leave. Let's go. Chip, chop, chip. Get the... Emma? Emma in the wardrobe wearing a pig mask. Can you not... Emma, put the mask down. I know you're wearing that one. Put, oh, oh, that can't be comfortable. Jesus. Ha! Huh. Emma, what are you doing down here? Being an asshole. I saw you open the basement door, so I followed you down here. You shouldn't have snuck into this house. W what are you wearing? It's a pig's mask. I found it in that weird room. There's a bunch of them. I was just trying to scare you. Yeah, it worked. Just take that thing off and we can talk about this later. Let's get out of here. It's great for fixing your posture. That is true. It's great for waking you up, fixing your posture. Damn, it's gotten so late, and this storm is so much worse. Let's not risk taking a shortcut and just go back the way we came through the pasture. And let's not tell Dad about what happened today. He's stressed out enough. Okay. Yeah, that chair. Great for fixing your posture, impaling your ass, waking you up. You know, so many good things. Oh, God. 
Oh, you are creepy. Dude, 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 dude. Hey, the mannequins. Hi. Looks like he's even left a card. Thanks, you weirdo. Thank you again for retrieving that photograph for me. I'll be seeing you soon, my new dearest friend. Oh, Christ. Okay, let's go now. Hey, Dad, sorry, we might have uh, released a witch. Just, uh, just letting you know. Emma, can you tell me more about your friend, Lucilia? You're just going to make fun of me. Mm. I promise I won't. She lived in a house like ours, in the woods north of here, next to a lake. What else does she tell you in your dreams? She said she had gifts that could change things. Or even people. Has she ever talked to you about witchcraft or anything like that? I don't think so. Why is she talking to you? She said her friends brought her to our house. And that if I live there now, I must be a friend of hers too. Oh, so her body must be here then. Which would make sense. I oh, her body must be in the locked room. Of your imagination. Yeah, so if they brought her body here, they locked it up in that room. That's not true. Sometimes when you and Dad are working outside, she'll knock on the wall to let me know she's there. Yep. Emma, I don't want you talking to Lucilia anymore. Hey, Dad, what you doing? What are you writing? Ah, Rose. Uh, never mind that. How was your day? You two were gone for quite a while. It's his will. We walked to the small village east of here. I met a very strange man, and the houses there were nightmarish. I think something happened in this town since you grew up here. So people do still live here. You made it sound like this town was abandoned after getting back from the parish. This town is abandoned. Something bad happened here. Have you found a key for that locked door in the hallway? No, I haven't. I tried forcing it open, but those chains are on tight. Can I break it open? <laughs> I know I'm not as strong as I used to be, but if I can't open it, I don't think you'll be able to either. What if I use the axe? Jesus, Rose, you're not going to put an axe through a door in this house. What's got you bothered about it anyways? And what are you going to do once it's open? I guess Emma's stories. And I'm not lying about something being wrong about that village. The parish, too. Even my dreams have felt cursed since moving here. We've uprooted our lives and moved across the country. Everything is new and needs work. I think that stress has got to us all in a way. I know it seems like there's not much here, but keep giving this place a chance. When it's all fixed up, it'll pay off for you girls. And if you feel isolated out here, there's a town two hours away with plenty of people, close enough that you both can go there on the weekends after the first few crop cycles. You could sell enough of what we don't eat and buy what you need, even afford a place there eventually if you tire of the countryside, but for now, we need to make this place work. We can't afford such fairy tales right now, Rose. You're right. We'll make this place work. Love you, Dad. Oh, I wonder if either the witch will promise to save the dad, or if we have a choice of doing the same sort of ceremony that Lucille, Lucilia did, but do it for her father, maybe? I love you, too. Read some more. When in doubt, read it out. Yeah, 
Yes, there seems to be four chapters in the game. And probably the last section then would be the location. So we went to the parish. We went to the Eastern Village, and then there's uh, another location, the gardens or whatever. Blood Magic and the Swine. It's been months now since my friend from the Eastern Village and I entered the home of that man. Perhaps I need time to truly think about this path I've now taken. It's one thing to invoke spirits with candles and wax, but another to do the same with the blood of a human being. I assumed it would have been easy, but the man put up more of a fight than I thought. He deeply lacerated my companion's face with a broken bottle. It was only after pushing the man down the stairs did he break his neck and go quiet. I fear my companion may be disfigured from the ordeal. I told him I'd make him a mask to hide the wounds as my thanks to him. At that moment, I just wanted to go home and forget everything. But we had already gone too far to stop now. I followed the steps Andrew told me in the woods until the final candle had burnt out and the first part of the ceremony was complete. But I felt nothing. Is my soul now bound to this world? If I can die in body but not in spirit, where do I go? I've been meeting with my companion and his superstitious friends frequently at the historical society after that night. I've been teaching them about ceremonial magic and all the secrets spoken to me by Andrew. They've slowly grown to trust me and admire my knowledge of the esoteric, though people around town have noticed our gatherings and begun gossiping. One even... One evening, when we were planning to meet, a woman spat at one of my followers and called him a pig. Given the cruelty of people, perhaps it's a compliment to be called an animal. I've begun referring to our group as the swine in the spirit of that remark uh, and have begun making masks to protect the identities of new members even from each other. I have given each of them detailed instructions on the second part of the ceremony to perform in the event of my death. Though all this work and sacrifice will have been for nothing if someone finds out about what I did to that man in his house that night. I've ground up Secuta Malcolata, the hemlock plant, and poured it into the wine bottles. I made sure to recork them and melt the wax back on so no one knows they've been tampered with and place them in my cellar. If I believe my swine are no longer trustworthy, I'll host a gathering and serve it to them. Once they succumb to the poison, I'll bury them in the woods one by one if I have to. I've done everything I can to preserve my spirit. It all depends now on my new coven's loyalty to me, and in performing the second part of the ceremony correctly when the time comes. Lucilia. Rose? Emma? Yeah, so more chains will fall off here. So that's Lucilia. Now this house, if I remember right, is different from the swine, but there are some elements that do remind me of the swine. Emma, where are you? I'm down here. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's the same cult members from... from the, um from the swine because one of the characters definitely looked like they were from that game i mean again i just assumed it was like the same character model just being reused emma get over here but maybe not it's okay rose she's the friend i told you about lucilia get away from her emma we're leaving right now Nope. 
It's going to lead to a casting couch situation. I don't want to be a part of it. This isn't real. I'm dreaming again. I don't think I should go in there. I think I should just leave. Oh, is this one of the choices? Oh, I wonder. Because right now I think we have three choices. We can go in there with the rest of the cult members. We can go back here and listen to Emma and Lucilia. Or we can go and just leave. Yeah, this is the first real point in the game where you start feeling... You start feeling things branch off. So I'm wondering if this is what will lead to the different endings. Oh, a random chessboard. Didn't notice that before. Then again, we might not even be able to leave, though. You might have to choose one or the other, but I, I don't know. Let's see, this is our room again, right? So... Oh, that's concerning. Elder Grove Field. Find a component of the Trinity spell. Another day, another chain. So the last one must be the gardens that we go to. We'll have some stuff there. And then from there, we'll have probably another decision to make, I'm assuming. That will either get us the third element or, or component of the Trinity spell. Or not, and that will lead to another ending. I'm going to guess two more decisions. Maybe, or well, no, maybe probably three then at that point. 